The lineup for St. Andrew Technical High School in goal, Jaheim Williams, Alex Xavier Good, Nicoy Gale, J. Lloyd Smith, Richard Livingston, the captain, Leon Brown, Ejatai Marshall, Andre Salmon, Kalanji Watson, Kevin Hall, Kemar Thompson, they're coached by Philip Williams. Yeah, new system for St. Andrew Technical this season, switching to the 3-5-2 from the 4-3-3 that served them so well last season. They have a lot of danger players, a strong defense. Let's see what they can do today against Excelsior. Leon Brown has uh, six goals. Andre Sa has eight goals. Andre Salmon has six. We just witnessed the toss of the coin. And uh, we are going to look quickly at the lineup for Excelsior High School. Jadavin Wall in goal, Lennon Green, Terence Williams, Shadika Wizard, Renaldina Medwinter, Dante Burt, Rain Strawn, Richard Andrews, Damarley Williams, Damar Edwards, and Stephen Bailey. They're coached by Keon Broderick. Yeah, not much change, although it's a new coach for Excelsior this season. A lot of players returning, similar 4 3 3 formation. They'll be looking to attack down the wings and be steely in the middle against the St. Andrew Technical lineup. Here's a full match highlights. Goals have started as early as the second minute. Lennon Green unable to really clear his lines and Leon Brown ran through and fired through a thunderous strike in the second minute of play. Here's another look at it. He really did well getting by three defenders. And yeah, getting by Wall in goal for Excelsior. A picture of frustration was Wall. He would see more. Excelsior had their own opportunities. That header over the top. And they would also have a shot that went easily to goalkeeper Williams for St. Andrew Technical. They would continue those stats. And the two attempts there, none of them really on target. And that one over the top from Livingston. That was headed on target from Richard Andrews. And the follow-up was wide of the mark. Second half action now. Look at this one. Rise to the occasion. Kalonji Watson burying that one from outside the, the area. What a strike it was doing well that was goal number two for St. Andrew Technical and they all rejoice it would continue in the 68th minute Dwayne Atkinson providing an easy finish for the man who is our man of the match Leon Brown his second on the afternoon yeah easy 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 not sure what the name of that dance is Perhaps it's the easy street. They would push forward. St. Andrew Technical. And look at the bit of skill from Salmon. Getting by one defender. And firing from the left foot. Easily. Easy, easy, easy. Andre Salmon. Moved to seven goals. How about this? For a consolation for Excelsior. Kevin Salmon the substitute yeah it was laid on the platter and I tell you what that was steamed fish bang on target the substitute Salmon trying to bring hope Williams lying there in disappointment Kelsa Samuel Kelsa Anderson saw enough here are the stats 32 shots, 21 to stats. 12 shots on target, 7 of them to stats. Yeah, it was an aggressive match. 22 fouls, 14 to stats. 2 yellow cards, 1 to Excelsior. 
seven offsides for San Andre Technicals. They also had seven corners, none for Excelsior. That shows that they really weren't as penetrating as they should have been. Five saves, two for goalkeeper Wall, three for Williams in goal, and 60% of the possession for St. Andrew Technical, four goals to one. We go to the Digicel Man of the Match with Kimani. Thank you, Dean. I'm joined by marketing executive from Digicel, Georgine Smith. She will be presenting her goodies to the man of the match, Leon of Stats. All right, receive those, Leon. So, Leon, I have to ask you, thank you, Georgine. A very good performance by you. You're the talisman in this squad. Sum up the game for me. Uh, we're doing what the coach said, you know. Basically, the system. All about the system. But we just need to do what the coach more, what the coach has said, is to understand what we change. How many goals are you looking to finish the campaign with? Uh, <laughs> 25 or more. Uh, last year, scored three goals. Never satisfied with that. So this year I'm back. All right, Leon, any messages you want to send family members, a cute girl in class? Uh, <laughs> Nothing. Uh, the fans, just keep support, supporting us and be there for us. All right, thank you, Leon. All the best. All right, a candid Leon Brown there. I'm joined now by Excelsior's coach, Coach Keon Broderick. Coach, a tough loss. You managed to do what no other team has managed to do this season, and that score on this stats team. How do you see this game today? Well, um, the goal that we scored is evidence that we have quality in the team. Um, nonetheless, I thought that we, we did a poor job in conceding too early in the game in the first half, and then we, we carried, carried it over into the second half in conceding early in the second half. Credit must be given to Stats nonetheless in how they transition into attack. Every time they won the ball, they played fast, and they were able to get in behind. I also thought that we could have been much better in terms of the defensive organization, and that's where they got us out because we were playing too wide in the attacking organization, and when we turn over the ball, we did not get compact fast enough. That is something that we need to work on as we move on into the, into the latter part of the first round, and I'm sure it's going to get better. Yeah, I actually overheard you speaking to your charges and telling your attackers to compress the middle so that stats can go out wide and you would filter them out there. That was a part of the game plan, was to stop central progression. It worked um, for most of the second half and for most of the first half and the second half. It's just that we lost possession of the ball, especially around the back. And when you lose possession of the ball around the back against quality teams like stats, you will get punished. All right, thank you, Coach. All the best. Thank you. Yeah, Coach Broderick there of Excelsior. First loss of the season for Excelsior, but plenty of football left. Philip Williams, I'm joined by him now, winning coach. Your streak continues. How happy are you? I'm very happy. I mean, um, today was a very good test for my team. I think the Excelsior team is a good team. They, I saw what they were about, and I mean, they look good in terms of how they play. And definitely, we, we, we embrace this type of game, and we're happy that um, the boys um, are consistently good, and today was no different. Talk to me about the back line. You conceded the first goal of the season so far, but speak to me about them in possession in particular and how you utilize them. <laughs> uh, without giving much away, um, those, those, those are our more experienced players, so definitely they, they will, they will, they will, um, they will um, have to take the bulk of possession for us and, and in terms of decision making, and that's what they are doing. Many pundits and fans insist that there's something different about stats this season. What are you cooking? I mean, the only thing different is that it's a more mature team. We, we keep doing what we're doing down there. Um, we are organized and we always try to put our best forward um, on every given day. In terms of taking that next step and actually winning the big one, talk to me about your plans. I mean, there. That's, that's, that's always been the, the, the aim from 2017. Um, this year we have another chance of doing it and definitely we'll, we'll give it our best try. Thank you, Coach. All the best. Yeah, man. Thanks much. But member wish party start. Pizza, school boy, football, run come. 